prove that secant x minus cosine x all over cosine x equals tangent squared x is an identity. So make sure you have all of your identities near you, so all of your true statements, so that you know exactly how and what you can plug into the left-hand side of this equation. So the first thing I notice is that it says I have something minus something over a common denominator. Well, what I can do is I can actually break that apart as a subtraction sign and just put the numerator over the denominator for each one. So what exactly am I saying? Well, I'm saying I can do secant of x over cosine x minus cosine x over cosine of x. So it's the same thing, I've just split apart my subtraction. Well, what do I know about secant? Well, I know secant has something to do with cosine, but I'm looking for a tangent. So it would be kind of cool, I think, if I could get this first term in terms of just the secant. So how about if I get secant of x? That's great. So I know cosine is also what? Well, it's 1 over secant of x. And then I have cosine of x over cosine of x, which is just 1. Now, the first term, it simplifies, right? So if I have something divided by 1 over something, I'm actually multiplying the two together. So I get secant squared x minus 1. Oh, hey, that's awesome. That's an identity, right? And that equals what I want over on the right-hand side. So I'm going to get tangent squared x equals, again, I'm going to draw my arrow, and I'm going to write what I started with, which is tangent squared x. Those are the same, so I have proven that this is an identity.